Well, today we're going to show you how, or at least try to show you how to fix a Volkswagen Passat. This one is a 2006, but this should kind of apply to any modern day Volkswagen. Uh, fix one that's sputtering. The check engine light on this one is flashing. It has very little power and it's kind of misfiring. We haven't actually checked the codes, but we have had this exact same problem before and it was one of the coil packs. So it's been to Volkswagen and instead of replacing all the coil packs, of course they just replaced the one that was bad, which is pretty normal and standard. This time though, we're gonna replace all four just to prevent this from happening again in the future in case the others are close to you know their end of service life or whatever. These cars are so friggin' picky, it's a little ridiculous. And we're also going to replace the spark plugs while we're at it just because it's easy and we got the parts and the tools to do it. Little demonstration on what it's doing. Well, I don't really know if you can tell, but you can see the check engine lights flashing. This car has just shy of 150,000 miles on it. But it vibrates anywhere from like 1 to 2,000. See if you can hear from outside, maybe. Just not running quite right. So let's see what we can do. So first thing we're going to do is take, over, take off this obnoxious cover. Um, we're going to like needle nose this thing off and unplug this electrical connection and this one's a little busted because of some place that uh, it got took to to have its oil changed messed it up <laughs> then we got the front the top, I mean. Uh, here's the coil packs. This rail thing connector comes off, detaches from all four of these. So as she uses a screwdriver to get this thing off, I just wanted to show you these new ones. Uh, the older ones had like a rubber thing that goes around this metal part. As we saw, the one that Volkswagen changed was down here at the end. That one looked exactly like these. So like I said, we're just going to go ahead and replace all four of them though so that we don't have to mess with this again for quite a while. Hopefully quite a while, right? Crush fingers. Just sort of put your, yeah, see, and then they just slide off. Okay. Now they're out of the way. Once that's out of the way, these things lift up really easy. Pull up like that, and they lift right up and out. There's, there's what an old one looks like. And yours should hopefully, like this one, not have a bunch of oil all over it. So this part probably isn't what you're watching the video for. You just want to figure out why your car's making, you know, being all rough and stuff. But we're just going to do the spark plugs next here, so I won't, I won't force you through that. Here's what the old ones look like. Got all four of the new ones in, now we're going to do the coil packs. So here's a new coil. Ooh, look, shiny from AutoZone. I think they, they turned out, when you buy all four of them at once, about $20 a piece. Yeah, about if you buy them singly, I think they're about $28 a piece. Uh, otherwise, a whole box, it was, yeah, about, about 20 bucks a thing. So, it couldn't be easier. You're just going to stick the new ones down in here. And they're going to click onto the brand new spark plugs we just put in there. So you just line it up and push down. Yeah, I think these newer ones just sit up a little higher than the old ones. Let's see if this other one sits like that. Yeah, it seats into itself. I can, you can see the rubber make contact in here, right down there. So you can see that it's sealed in. These just sit up a heck of a lot taller than the originals. So when you do that, if you get these from AutoZone maybe and they sit up a little bit higher, don't freak out. Don't, don't freak out. This should still work. So. That's a lot of spark plugs right there. <laughs> yeah, we'll <check> it out. <laughs> Fourth one. All right, all four are seated. And then we just snap the those back on. And we're gonna do a little, uh, so basically she says, and I've sort of witnessed it without the top cover, it still runs a little questionable. Uh, so we're gonna put the top cover on and then test start it here. All right, everything's back on it. She even did a little cleaning job on the cover here. So now we're going to try to start it and hopefully it won't be doing what it was doing.
All right, so just so you know, it is better. It's completely smooth. Check engine light is on before for something else. So the, the fix is to show that it doesn't blink now. Because <laughs> it was blinking because of this issue. So now it's not blinking anymore. It has all of its power back. Before it wouldn't even rev up that high as easy. You had to like really push on it with your foot. Because it just had no power. Then very importantly, make sure you remove all the parts that you left under the hood before you close the hood. Now she's going to chest drive it. Alright. Sounds as smooth as can be. Mama. What do you think? Back to normal again? Yes it is. That's awesome. High five the camera. Me. Now because I know someone out there is going to mention it, the check engine light is actually on because of a vacuum leak and I just haven't found the vacuum leak yet. I mean I think I found it but we haven't we haven't worried about that because that doesn't really affect the drivability of the car like these coil packs did. Has all of its power. Yeehaw! Thanks for watching everybody. If this helped you out, leave a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Bye bye!